Sunk the time. It's mainly that Main Street that's busy with all the popular tourist spots and food. Alley. It's possible to find quiet places even in Arashiyama with all the tourists. So this is a place I wanted to try called Fujiro. Like a, it's a meat place. Right there. And this is a place I wanted to try called Kujiro. Let's go. Opens at 11. Japanese wagyu, beef tongue, Japanese beef. That's from left to right. This is from Green. Not bad. Nice little park. 
park this is everything that's across the bridge We can see some dancing. Please go, 
Some items are more than 100. on the door. So it might be bad again. Is that? Oh, it's because it's two beds pushed together. All right, all right. That's actually fine with me. I get more space. Mirror. Bathroom. Standard. Okay. Let's um enjoy the time here. Ojamashimas. Let's see what's out here. Oh, it's the sky. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this room is pretty standard, you know, bed stuff. Uh, they have a kettle, a water heater, hair dryer, which I didn't have in the first hotel, but they have a hair dryer in this one. Refrigerator just stays on. 
Uh, but this place also gave me water. Now, should I drink this water? Is it safe? Why wouldn't I? <laughs> and some tea. TV. And yeah. That's probably a humidifier. Uh, some hotel info on the right, little mirrors. Okay. So right here on one of the floors of Lynx Meadow was a big food court with a lot of restaurants. What I'm eating right here is called a butadon, which is like pork rice in a bowl. It's similar to gyudon, which I think is more popular, uh, which is meat rice bowl. And raw eggs are safe to eat in Japan, I think due to stricter safety and health regulations. It was kind of like a dream of mine to try that. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, Lynx Meadow was pretty much just like a big shopping mall. A whole bunch of different floors with a whole bunch of different things. Uh, each floor is dedicated to like a different thing. One floor might be dedicated to like clothes and shopping. Another floor might be dedicated to like Pokemon Center, etc. Another floor might be dedicated to like restaurants, and then another floor might be dedicated to like anime and model figures, etc. Uh, you'll probably find like a lot of those types of malls around Japan, or at least in the big cities. So yeah, it's definitely worth checking out, and the food was great too. Dude, we got like seven rows of gotcha things. <laughs> Go to Japan to get a burger. <laughs> One, two. Oh, that's my shuttle bus. So there's a spot I wanted to try out for a while, Moss Burger. I know I have burgers in like America, but so it's like um, it's nice to try out like the way other cultures like to uh like to interpret things, you know. Bam. Uh oh, they gave me the whole menu. That's cool. So I got the I think this one. The spicy with cheese. Um, so they had self checkout machines, but at the particular spot that I went to in Osaka, but um, I ended up using Google Translate for most of it, you know, with the camera lens. I used the camera to just translate as I went along, and it worked out pretty well. Yeah, no one was like rushing me or anything. Something cool I got. Melon soda. How about that? That's something you can get, right? Okay, so this is how they package it up. They put it in this little thing. So a cup, cup holder bag, which is pretty cool. I think so. And taped it up. Uh, there's not really... Well, I guess it could leak, but if you put it upside down, maybe. So it's taped up so that it doesn't like um, pop out. Just cool. I walk like 15 minutes to get back. 
I was on a mission, I was just exploring. I got a little bit lost, which was fun. I went to this one um crane game place called Molly's It's kinda of weird name. Or Molly's Fantasy. Yeah, that's what it was. In um Lynx Umeda. It was like a shopping mall. Each floor has different stuff. That's what I know about Japan actually. They have like these um these big department stores kinda. There's this other called other spot called um Yodaiba, I think. It says. And each floor has different stuff. Like one floor will have electronics, the next floor will have like anime stuff. <laughs> and the floor will have like um fashion clothes. So this is what it looks like. And it's pretty it looks pretty good dude. Look at that. Where's that burger at though, right? The burger looks pretty good too. Look at that. It looks like um it looks like a breakfast sausage actually. Alright, so mm, the fries and the onion rings. I got a half and a half. They let you do that. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, those seal foam. I'm gonna cut that out. But anyways, tough dude, tough. I want to share. Let's try this melon too. Oh, fire! No warning. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, the little spice. See, there's a little kick. It's not in the burger though, it's like the, um, the sauce. Mm. Yeah, the spice is definitely there, it's like a little kick. It's not like, um, pucky hot chip spicy though. It's an enjoyable spice, but probably more like, um, Hot Cheetos, maybe? Let's try these fries. Okay. Regular potato fries. Mm. Now we have to consider that it took me like 15 minutes to walk in the cold all, or <laughs> back to the hotel. Imagine if I was eating it fresh. Like, oh, they only need two onion rings. Like, for the onion rings, still a bit crispy. But, you know, it could be more. Mmm. Mm hmm. It reminds me of that old um, Carl's Jr. commercial. If it doesn't get all over the face, <laughs> I mean, the place. Mmm. Okay. Look at that, all over the place. Okay. Jalapenos, they got jalapenos in here, that's why. There's, with that, adds a little bit more spice. Don't be mistaken, I'm drinking that because it's good, not because it's spicy. Mmm. It's nice, man. So I got the set meal. Mm -hmm. That was for like um, six dollars. <throat> I can't remember how much in it was. I put the receipt away already. But I mean six dollars for this. Right now, because of inflation and everything, and because of like higher, well I don't want to get into that, but the Big Mac meal, I think it was like twelve, fifteen dollars maybe. <laughs> yeah, man. Hmm. It might seem ridiculous to like be like, hey, go to Japan and try a burger. You just never know, man. Or woman. 
or child, or dog. You might just like anything, try anything, it'll broaden your horizons. It'll either make you like appreciate the burger you already have or make you crave for a new burger, a new type of burger. I'm getting pretty deep, huh? <laughs> Man, that melon juice though. Or melon soda. Tastes exactly how it looks. Delicious. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. I went to the claw machine. Er, I was talking about the claw machine game, right? Man, that's about tough to win, dude. And then as I went to go get fucking, um, ah, sorry, as I went to go get more coins, well, apparently there's this button that you can press to like pause the game so if someone, everyone knows you're on it, and then no one else can put in coins. I mean, they could like bypass it just by pressing the button, but you know, out of respect, they should know. Maybe they got on security camera or something. I didn't know that. And when the workers came by and reset everything, put everything back into position. I'm like, man, dude, all my hard work. And then I figured, okay, since they did that, maybe, you know, they can refix it back for me. You know, make right. Make right the wrong that they wronged me. <laughs> so I asked one of the other workers, like, yo, can you help me out? <laughs> and then put everything back in the starting position. Hmm. <laughs> And then finally I broke down, I asked one of the other workers, like, can you make it easier? <laughs> uh, but she was like, um, she pulled out a notepad and she had a, a, a phrase ready. Help will be with you in a second. Please hold on. I felt bad. So I was just, I pulled out whatever Japanese I knew. I was like, Daisho with this. <laughs> Come on. Uh, yeah, I didn't mean to cause any trouble. So I walked out without a prize. I'll be back though. I think that's. Oh man, dude. Just thinking about it, it's frustrating. Oh, but I ate that at this. Um, this one spot, that was pretty good. They had a lot of food. There was like two separate floors of food. Uh, restaurants. So I'm gonna go to Hiroshima tomorrow, but when I come back to Osaka. Maybe. Go try that and don't tell anybody. Mmm. Oh, everything that fell. Be careful when you eat this. Oh man, I forgot I was recording. <laughs> Going crazy on this. I'm just cleaning it up. I'm just cleaning it up. Mm hmm. I feel very fortunate that I was able to try uh, a lot of the stuff that I guess I've been seeing on Instagram, but not just that. A lot of new foods that I just randomly happened to find. And I feel very fortunate. Mm. Just like <clears throat> to be able to like like I said broaden my horizons. Mm. I hope these experiences, you know, just being in a country where I, I guess I can speak a little bit, but you know when it comes down to it, I can't. <laughs> Just going through that, looking for food regardless of the language barrier. Just being open to trying new stuff, even though it's a little scary. Talking to people, even though it's a little scary, like, will they understand me, you know? Will they be able to get that I'm not a shitty person? No. 
Or at least I'm not trying to be. And yeah, it's been it's been great. Probably at like the halfway point, a little past the halfway point of the vacation, but just taking the moment to reflect. I am pretty tired, so I'll try to get some real good rest and finish strong. Next time, <clears throat> or in the future, just like any time I travel. I'll have more, I'll have this experience to like kind of fall back on. And with my vlogs, hopefully people will be able to pick up some of that game too. It'll help them out so they can kind of skip some of the hard steps. Not all of it because the hard steps help you grow too, but skip some of the hard steps that kind of will, would maybe, maybe you'd feel like those, some of those steps that you didn't know if you did know them you know you would have had like a much more enjoyable time i don't know man <clears throat> all i know is i'm gonna put up a vlog i have this camera and i'm gonna vlog it's fun for me man what am i gonna eat later tomorrow i know on next week's episode. <laughs> Just kidding. Peace.